Hello and welcome to Hacker Trading. My name is Hari Swaminathan. In this video, we're going to look at what a risk profile of a stock looks like and then compare it to the risk profile of an option. Now, if you've uh, never dealt with these kind of profit and loss diagrams before, uh, you've probably never thought about stocks in having a risk or a reward profile. But what I have here, this is the Thinkorswim platform. And what I have here is I'm looking at the Google stock and I'm thinking about buying 100 shares of the Google, the stock itself. So there's no options here. There's only stock. And the current price seems to be somewhere around $560. And if we come to the Thinkorswim platform and we put this trade we can analyze this trade under this analyze tab. And so when we do the risk profile of this particular trade, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to make this a little bigger and let's see if we can understand this. So the risk profile of a stock and for any stock, if you want to buy a stock, you're going to see a risk profile that goes from the bottom left all the way to the top right. And where the stock price is right now that's your that's this middle uh, red dotted line and as the stock goes down so you can see that the stock prices are on the x-axis here so if from if uh, google goes down from 560 to say 500 then if you put your cursor on this uh, 500 you're looking at a loss of five thousand six hundred dollars if you buy 100 shares similarly if you were right and um, let's say Google goes up to $600 or $610, um, then you would make a profit of uh, about $5,000 as well. But if you've never dealt with an option screen before, you've probably never seen your stock plotted on a graph like this. Now, this graph is actually very scary because, you know, it's great if you were right and if Google goes up, but what happens if Google goes down? So if you're wrong, Google is going to come down this white line and as it comes down you can see that for every ten dollars uh, you can see you can you can calculate this but but when you look at it in graphical terms it looks actually quite scary and if you were if you had an options position that looked like this then your broker would probably not allow this position at all because this position is set to have unlimited risk on the downside. So which means if Google goes down from 560, let's say it goes down to past the 480, past 400 and say up to 300 or 200, you can imagine your losses are just accumulating at that point. And so it has an unlimited loss profile on the downside. Now, if you were shorting this stock, which means you instead of buying a hundred shares, you would sell the hundred shares. And you can see that the risk profile is exactly the opposite. Uh, now you'll see the white line going all the way from the top left to the bottom right. But again, this profile has an unlimited loss profile because if Google continues to go up, so from 560, if it goes up to 620 and 650 and 700, your position is going to accumulate losses. And this is again considered a uh, unlimited loss profile. So in both these cases, whether you're buying shares or you're shorting shares, you have an unlimited loss profile. So now that's what that's one of the things I think people don't realize in stocks that whenever you buy or sell a stock, uh, buy or short a stock rather, you have an unlimited loss profile. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to step uh, into the options world and show you how we can create a similar profile like this, but we can limit our losses on the downside or on the upside, depending on whether you're taking a bullish position or a bearish position. I'll show you how you can limit your losses. Now, in stocks, there's nothing you, know, there's nothing you can do if you take a uh, a bullish position then this is what your graph is going to look like if you take a bearish position then you're going to be shorting these uh, stock and there's nothing you can do with stock but once you're talking about options 
you can see how powerful options can be and this is just one of the features of options and there are several features that make options a very powerful instrument and what I want to do in this video is to just show you this particular feature and in fact I'll also show you that if you take up an options position like this that has a graph that looks like this which has an unlimited loss profile your broker may not even allow you to get into this position so which means the broker already has some inbuilt risk control mechanisms built into the platform so they don't allow people to take unlimited loss uh, profiles like this so anyway let's uh, I don't want to confuse things but let me show you what an option position might look like if we wanted to um, put up uh, put a position that has a very similar outlook so which means we want to capture any upside that Google has but at the same time if we are wrong and if Google starts going down we want to control our losses so that I'm going to be showing in part two we'll see how to uh, uh, how to construct this uh, this kind of an option position okay so what I have here is uh, we have two lines here the first was the stock where we were modeling what uh, the stock profile looks like In the second line what I've added is one contract and we'll get into all of these concepts of what is a contract and all of that you'll find it throughout our website but for now just uh, assume that one contract is equal to 100 shares it's not assume it's uh, that's actually the fact one options contract is equivalent to a hundred shares of any stock index or ETF in the US markets so and since Google is trading at around five hundred and sixty dollars we're going to buy the five hundred and sixty dollar call option and we're going to pay a certain amount which we don't have to worry about it right now but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a check mark here so that we can model this trade so now you can see that if we wanted a similar profile so if we wanted to capture the upside of Google then by buying a call option the profit profile of this position seems very uh, close to the profit profile of the stock so if it moves by fifty sixty dollars we are making a profit of about four thousand dollars but look what happens on the downside on the downside you can see this red line flattens out so it doesn't matter how low Google falls even if Google goes to 500 you still lose a certain amount so and that certain amount is shown in this red number here that's one thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars so if Google is anywhere below 560 on the day of expiry because options uh, do expire uh, then you're going to lose about one thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars but look what happens if Google goes to five hundred dollars if it comes all the way here our loss is still one thousand nine hundred and ninety now it this graph only goes to about four hundred and eighty but regardless of how low Google goes even if Google falls all the way down to two hundred dollars we are looking at a maximum loss of one thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars on the upside however we are able to capture all the profit by owning the Google stock and now you can also see one more thing is the margin required for this position is only one thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars because that's the maximum loss on this position so instead of buying the stock what we did was we were buying a call option so the call option mimics the profit potential of a stock but it limits the loss potential of the stock so in many ways if your maximum loss is only 1990 however if you're right and Google starts going up then you can see that you're exposed to the same kind of profit that your stock would have been so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the option and check the stock so you can see that the profit profile of the stock goes up this way and if it moves about forty fifty dollars you're looking at a profit of about four thousand five thousand somewhere there and similarly now if we just looked at the option uh, and I'm going to put both of them in there you can see that the profit profile is very similar but now the red line is not flat because 
we, we, are, we are modeling both of these and the stock has an unlimited loss profile. But if I take the stock off, you can see my loss is limited when I buy a call option. So this is just one of the powerful things about options. Uh, we are going to cover all these different factors, all these different areas uh, in both our free video section as well as our courseware. So please uh, take a look at it. But options are very powerful and um, you, there are ways you can use options to limit your losses, to protect your stock positions, uh, to make a monthly income if you own some stocks. There are various things you can do and we are, we are going to get into each and every one of them in this courseware. So I just wanted to show you one, one feature of options where you maintain the profit potential of buying a stock but at the same time you can limit your loss potential to a fixed amount. So that's as far as this video is concerned. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please send us an email info at hackertrading.com. But I'll see you in the other videos. Thank you.